In this video, we're going to learn how to hook up the Anscope camera so we can use the microscope camera to take pictures instead of using our cell phone. You can choose whatever method you'd like. Some people just have a preference for whichever one they happen to like. So we're going to open the box. Inside the box, you're going to go ahead and you're going to see the black cable that plugs into the computer. This is the microscope camera itself, and these are the adapters that go into the objective, pardon me, into the IP slot. So first off, let's go ahead and assemble our unit. This big USB, this one goes in the back of the monitor. This little USB goes into the unit itself. So on the back of your monitor, you're going to go ahead and plug it in. Then you're going to come up to your little camera, pull that out of the box. This is where it plugs in. This is the dust cover. I keep that on until the end so I don't get my fingerprints all over it. Gently plug that in. I'm going to rest this back down in here. Now I'm going to remove this um, eyepiece. It gently pulls out. If you feel like you're struggling with yours at all, go ahead and stop. Try the other, and if not, just flag us down. We can help you. Now, we're going to pull out the, uh, the adapter that we think might work in here. Perfect. Mine was on the right. Yours may not be. Don't um, stress about that. So you're going to go ahead and gently place this because I don't want any dust getting in there. So I'm going to gently place this inside the box. Nice and dust-free. I'm ready to use my camera. I'm going to go ahead, pull off a little dust cover, leave that inside the box, and I'm going to gently place that inside this eyepiece and adapter combination. Perfect. Now I'm ready to go to the software. On the computer, there's a biology folder. You're going to double click the biology folder. You're going to open the software called AmScope. Make sure you can see that, AmScope. Next, you're noticing, hey, it's not working. I plugged it in. You have to make sure you go to the camera list and click MD1200A. That'll turn it on. You'll see this black square until you've um, found your specimen. It'll remain a black square. Okay. I'm going to scroll up. If you notice it's kind of dark, that lets me know that my, my light source might be kind of low. And now I need to scroll to make sure that my E, perfect, my E's over there hiding. And if it's blurry, um, the camera will show you blurry, right? So you just need to make sure that you find focused and found it nice and beautiful. Okay, I'm ready to take a picture. So this is showing me the camera feed. I will go over here to snap under the capture and resolution. Click snap and now I see level one, but I wanna go back to the camera so I can get that live feed again. Now I'm ready to scroll to the yellow. I'm gonna find focus just a hair. Perfect, I'm ready to take a picture. I'm gonna go back to snap. And then eventually, if I go to my third, I'm going to go, and notice I rotate, but I don't see anything. That's because I forgot to go back to MD1200. And I'm going to go ahead and find focus just a hair. Perfect. It's kind of dark because the camera does try to autofocus. You can mess with this exposure and gain over here, but it's, it's kind of, it's a little hard to adjust. So I leave that alone as best I can. And then I'm going to click snap. Now I'm ready. Okay, so what do I do with the pictures? What you can do is you can individually go file to save, or you can do batch save. I like to do a batch save because it saves me multiple. So um, it tells me it's going to save it under the AmScope under documents. Perfect. But file type, I need to make sure I change it from TIFF to JPEG, and then I click OK. And now you notice it's renamed them to JPEG. That's good. I'm going to minimize here. And so I'm going to go to documents under AmScope, and here are all my pretty pictures. And so you can do that where if you want to take all your pictures and have a billion tabs and then click batch save, you can. Okay, good luck. Flag me down if you need any help.